During spring break in 1989, a 21-year-old pre-med student by the name of Mark James Kilroy planned to go on vacation with his friends to South Padre Island, which is located in southern Texas. There were several instances where he and his friends crossed the border to enter a Mexican town by the name of Matamoros due to the cheaper prices there. The cheaper prices came with long lines of people. Mark and his friends waited in separate lines. As time went on, his friends noticed a man approach Mark and speak to him. They didn't think anything peculiar of this when all of a sudden they came through the lines and did not see Mark anywhere. The next morning, Mark still didn't arrive, which prompted his friends to notify his parents, who then called the police. Both the police and Mark's parents started to investigate the areas Mark was last seen, combing through South Pother Island and Matamoros whilst handing out flyers. Both parties were oblivious to the fact that Mark actually was kidnapped and sacrificed by an opulent cult that was situated at the Texas and Mexican borders. This cult targeted young men because they believed that if they mutilated and killed them, their drug dealing business would be protected from the police force as well as their rivals. They believed that even bullets could not hurt them. The man who killed Mark was Adolfo de Jesus Castanoza who practiced an oculate religion known as Pio Mayombe, which is known as the evil twin of a religion called Santeria. Santeria is a mix of voodoo and Roman Catholicism, originating during a time West African slaves were brought into the New World. When these slaves were forced to convert to Catholicism, they blended it with their original religion, and the religion Santeria was born. Palo Mayombe, which contains deviant forms of Santeria, has practices that involve black magic and brutal sacrifices of animals, subjecting them to 120 degrees of heat and drinking their blood. Although those who practice it say that human sacrifice is rare and unusual, they do acknowledge that it occurs. Such was the case for Constanazo when he established the drug dealing cult in an area known as Ranch Santa Elena, right next to Matamoros. Initially, Castanazo and his cult did sacrifice animals, but as time progressed, they started to believe that sacrificing humans would be much more effective in protecting them. They kidnapped a total of 12 young men by luring them into a ranch, beheading and mutilating each of them. In a large cauldron, they drenched their bodies from the blood. Both Constanazo and the high priestess by the name of Sarah Virio then used the sacrificial blood to draw circles around them. They believed that standing inside these circles would shield them from anyone and anything. One day, the Mexican Drug Patrol Police saw a very suspicious looking pickup truck. They started following it and witnessed something very strange. The truck ran off the road and inside a ditch. The individuals inside the truck came out and ran into a warehouse. The police quickly followed them inside. They noticed the cult members actually stopped running and were all standing in the red circles they drew and laughing at the police. In their minds, they truly believed that the blood circle would protect them, even stating their belief out loud to the police for extra reassurance. As the police approached them and got a hold of them, that belief soon dissipated and the cult members broke down and confessed to absolutely everything. With their statements, the police found the bodies of 13 young men, mutilated and beheaded. Mark was one of those young men. When Constanoza heard the police were right outside the building he was hiding in, he went delirious. The other cult members who were also in the same room as him said during this time, Constanoza, quote, went crazy crazy, end quote. He was described as throwing a sack of money and shooting out the window. He then instructed a fellow cult member to shoot him and another member named Martin, claiming that the end was here and he wanted to die with him. He screamed that no one is getting the money. Per his instruction, the other cult member shot him and Martin to death. When the police captured the other cult members, four of them were sentenced to 67-year sentences and the priestess Sarah received a 62-year sentence. That was the end of the cult, although the crimes, torture, and fear it inflicted remains and haunts many people. Out of this disaster, the parents of Mark created the Mark Kilroy Foundation, which brings drug awareness programs to various educational settings. This cult was mind-boggling and makes us see how much more strange real life is than fiction. What do you guys think Constanoza said to Mark in order to lure him in the first place? Do you guys believe that those sentences the other cult members received were justified, given the extent and brutality of the crimes? 
And why didn't Constanosa want Martin, the other cult member, to die with him of all the other members? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more interesting content.